So I'm sure you know that August 20th, Ghost of Tsushima is going to get its director's cut with its huge Iki Island expansion that reportedly is as big as the first act in Ghost of Tsushima. But even better, if you're a fan of the Legends multiplayer mode, there's a big expansion coming to all owners of the ghost of tsushima game whether you have the director's cut or the basic cut whether you have the ps4 or ps5 version i'm going to be upgrading to the director's cut on launch for sure but let's hear about the fact that you could conceivably get the legends multiplayer if you're only interested in the multiplayer on your own starting september 3rd and also find out about this new rivals mode for the multiplayer i'm a big single player player but i know a lot of you guys have enjoyed the multiplayer for ghost of tsushima subscribe to the linus wilson channel where we give you the secrets to crush ghost of tsushima new updates start to arrive on august 20th alongside ghost of tsushima director's cut last october we launched ghost of tsushima legends our first online multiplayer project as a studio which expanded the gameplay of Ghost of Tsushima into a supernatural world inspired by Japanese mythology. And to say that you support the enthusiasm blew our wildness expectations out of the water is an understatement. We love seeing the reactions and photo mode shares for the past 10 months and we have lost plenty of sleep staying up late to watch team stream their raid progress thank you to everyone who's played so far this is written by darren bridges senior game designer sucker punch productions with just two weeks to go until ghost of tsushima's director's cut we wanted to talk about what's next for legends as always just like all legends content every update detailed below will be available at no additional charge to owners of any version of Ghost of Tsushima on the PS4 or PS5 with no director's cut. Purchase required. Players on PS4 and PS5 will also be able to play together seamlessly and progression in Legends carries over regardless of which console you are playing on. First, today we are excited to reveal Rivals, an all-new mode coming to Ghost of Tsushima Legends on September 3rd, including new trophies and cosmetics. In Rivals, two teams of two will compete to defeat waves of enemies. With each defeated foe, you'll collect Magatama that, will, that you can use to harm the other team. For example, you can spend Magatama on shades to block your opponent's purchases, curses, health drain, exploding bodies, etc. Huwacha fire and more. Once you spend enough Magatama, you unlock final stand waves. Complete these uh, before the opposing team to win. Oh my goodness, it sounds very cutthroat. Second, the same uh, time Rivals launches, we'll be releasing the Gear Mastery system. This new expansion of the progression system and rewards for legend players who earned 110 level gear will be able to Bind it to a class and activate mastery challenges. This will allow the pieces of gear's key level to be upgraded to 1,000 or 120 and eventually unlock a second perk slot. As you activate mastery challenges, you can also unlock a new ability and new techniques for each class. Starting on August 20th, the release date of Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut, we'll also be releasing an update that will add features of, to Legends, including some changes based on feedback from the community. We've Rebalance the survival mode to shorten the session length and add a new weekly survival nightmare challenge variants. We've also unlocked additional cosmetics and legends for players who've earned them in Jin Story and New Game Plus. Again, all of the above will be available at no additional cost if you already own Ghost of Tsushima. But for those of you who don't own Ghost of Tsushima yet but are interested in trying out legends starting September 3rd, we'll all... So be offering a new way to buy Legends on its own uh, without the single player campaign starring Jin Sakai. The new standalone version of Legends will be available on the PlayStation 4 starting on September 3rd for $19.99, dollars, euros, $15.99, pounds on PS4 and PS5 consoles. With the exception of some cosmetics that can be unlocked via the single player campaign, this is the same 
Legends content accessible by owners of Ghost of Tsushima. So you'll have access to the content released in 2020 in addition to everything new described above. And of course, you'll be able to play cooperatively with players who own the full version. And for players who purchase a standalone release of Legends, if you decide you want to check out any of the rest of Ghost of Tsushima, you'll be able to upgrade to Ghost of Tsushima Director's Cut at any time for $40, 50, 50 euros, 44 pounds on PS4, or $50, 60 euros, 54 pounds on PS5. Wow, the price in, in the Europe and UK is, is a lot higher. Uh, in addition to all of the above, we'll be adding a new piece of content each week from September 10th through October 1st, including uh, additional Rivals map, new survival maps inspired by Iki Islands and EO's Realm and Trials of EO, a new harder difficulty version of last year's raid that offers challenges uh, bite-sized chunks and offers new set of online leaderboards thank you once again to everyone who's played ghost of tsushima legends we can't wait to get all this con new content of ghost of tsushima's director's cut into your hands very soon uh internet connection and playstation plus membership required to download and play legends mode playstation plus membership is subject to a recurring subscription fee taken automatically until cancellation age restrictions apply all right this is dated uh today august 4th on the playstation blog let's go let's see the this uh this legends rivals intro gods of sun and storm propose a competition rival bands of ghost would challenge the armies of the underworld in their honor. Whichever side could halt their foe's infernal assault first would earn glory and reward. The heroes sprang to test their mettle. Damn. 